the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on our videos. Good day everyone, welcome to Smart View Card Video Tutorial. I hope you are having a great day. Today we are having a question which says that a cylindrical space pen of Niken alloy having an elastic modulus of 207 gigapower, original diameter of 10.2 millimeter, experience an elastic deformation when a tensile load of 8900 newton is applied. Compute the maximum length of the specimen before deformation if maximum allowable elongation is 0.25 millimeter. So solution. At this question we are going to be using modulus of elasticity equation which is young modulus we are going to be using the equation so we have modulus of elasticity it is equal to stress all over strain so our stress which is this the same thing as which is represented as sigma is equal to pressure all over area and our strain which is given as change in length all over original length. So this is the formula that we are having. So from the question, we are given our modulus of elasticity, which is E, modulus of elasticity, which is sigma all over E. So our E is equal to 207 giga, which is times 10 raised to the power of 9. So from our diameter, we can find our area. We are giving diameter to be equal to 10.2 millimeter. And this can be further expressed as, we can say this is equal to 10.2 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 meters. So our area is equal to pi d squared all over 4. So this, if you substitute pi all over 4, so our d is 10.2 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 squared. So now we can get our area to be equal to, if you press it very carefully on your calculator, we are going to have 8.1713 times 10 raised to the power of minus 5 meter squared. So now we want to find the strain so that we can find our the length, the final length, the maximum final length. So now for us to get that, we know that E is equal to tau all over is we can see our strain is equal to sigma which is strain all over elastic uh, young modulus of elasticity and our strain will finally be equal to so we said this is this is p all over a so we are going to have p all over a e we are given p which is the same thing as f the pressure is equal to the same thing as force is the same thing so we are having our f to be equal to 8900 newton so here instead of p we are going to be using half sometimes you might be given the pressure you can also use it this is the same thing so uh we are having 8900 divided by so our a we are having 8.1713 times 10 raised to the power of minus 5 multiplied by, by the modulus of elasticity which is 270 times 10 raised to the power of 9 times the power of 9. So, if you press this very carefully, you are going to have E is equal to 8900 divided by. So, if you multiply the denominator, you are going to have 1691.459 times 10 to the power of 4. So, now, this can be further simplified into, if you press, if you use your calculator, you can further simplify it and get your final answer. So, our strain is equal to 5.26 times 10 raised to the power of minus 4. So now for us to get the final length, we are told from the question that the elongation which is changing L is given as 0.25 millimeter and this is also the same thing as 0.25 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 meters. So this we can get our the maximum final length. We know that our strain is equal to elongation divided by length so this is the length that we are looking for which is the maximum final length so we can make a subject of formula so we are going to have our length l which is the maximum is equal to elongation all over our strain so now 
we can finally compute our final answer so we are having our length to be equal to 0 0.25 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 divided by 5.26 times 10 raised to the power of minus 4 so if you compute this very carefully you get our maximum length to be equal to 0 point, 0 0.4751 meters and this can also be represented as we can convert it to millimeter which will be equal to 475.1 millimeter so this is our maximum final length so i hope you understand what i've just explained here if you have any question you can drop it on the comment section in case you've not subscribed to our youtube channel please do so if not you'll be missing a lot we are actually uploading tons of video if you are watching this from our youtube channel you can visit our website to get more questions and tutorials thank you very much for watching this video